This is Lukhabeng Primary School in Taung in the northwest province of South Africa. Masogo Lebea and Valerie Mwepeng arrive at school early to prepare for the day. Masogo is head of department for the foundation phase and she's planning a reading activity for her grade 2 class of children. Masogo is using the book Boroto Jobu Monati for her Sitswana home language reading lesson. She's planning to introduce some new ways to the learners. So I have chosen this book, Boroto Jobu Monati, because my learners will enjoy reading this book. This book also has the phonic K, and that is the phonic I want my learners to learn today. Masogo has decided to divide the class into three groups. First, she prepares for the reading group. She identifies the words with the sound K in them, such as Kabo, as well as new words such as Boroto and Sepe Sepe. She identifies another word she thinks the learners would like, Dikaro. She writes it on the card as well. She chose these words because they have the sound k in them or because they are new vocabulary for the learners. Masiko cuts them out to make word cards. She'll use the word cards in the lesson. She'll ask learners to add them to the word wall in the classroom. Masego explains the worksheets she has chosen for the rest of the class to do while she is busy with the reading group. I have chosen this worksheet because I want my learners to learn the phonic K. So my learners will have to start with this K, then they will come back and read the book with me. The second worksheet, my learners will be able to know the correct spelling of K. They will choose from these bubbles, which one is the right one, they will have to color the correct phonic K. Masero is well prepared for her class today. Masoko has selected a storybook and made word cards for her group guided reading lesson. She has also prepared learning activities for the rest of the class to do while she's busy with the reading group. Masoko has given storybooks to the reading group who are sitting in front of the class. They read their books quietly while she explains to the second group what they should do with their worksheets. She then explains to the third group what they should do with their worksheets. When the two work groups are settled and happy, she returns to the reading group. <laughs> Masiko starts by introducing the book to the group. <laughs> then she introduces the new words on the word cards before she starts reading the story. <laughs> Masego reads the words to the learners. Then she asks what the word means and discusses the meaning of the words. Notice how she points to the syllables in the new word and ask learners to read the word. Masuro asks some learners to read the word that she's holding up. 
Dipounama. Dipouise rapé wanaga? Dipounama. Dipounama. Qui? C'est. Mon mot le mot wara. C'est qui dipounama ça wara. She repeats this process with all the six new words. Sipe, sipe. Qui man? Sipe, sipe. Rubise tele fukule karabo. Sipe, sipe. Rinaïlwe, rebouille cette le focolé manaka. Sipe, sipe. Sipe, sipe, ira ya kore. Kahona, sipe. Kahona, sipe. Kahona, sipe. After introducing the new words, Maseho reads the story. Le kubuisa kanyarona ya buroto jo vo monate wa kubuisa momo rakha. She reads with expression and asks the learners to repeat each sentence out loud. O baka buroto kore babuje ka chisi. O baka buroto kore babuje ka chisi. During the reading, Maseho emphasizes the new words. O a perisutu. O a perisutu. Kaisi a jisipe sipe. Kaisi a jisipe sipe. Anne discusses the words with the learners. She encourages them to use the new words when they answer her questions. Asa jisipe sipe. O ne asa jisipe sipe. O ne asa jisipe. This is one way of checking if the learners understand the new words. Maseho finishes discussing the story and ends the lesson by asking learners to add the new words to the word wall. Madile, to refile le foko borodo. Diso momo du mwa lo nangwa na. This is a way of checking to see whether the learners can read the new words. Maseho and the learners will keep adding new words as they learn them. The words will be on the wall for the other learners to see and learn too. Janu ka hore luitsi go buisa mafoko a re itutileng go mpieno a re ikopeleng diatla. Gora gore re itse go buisa. In the lesson today, Maseho introduced new words from the story and the learners put the new word cards on the wall. While Maseho was doing the word wall activity with her class, her colleague Valerie was also using a story to teach her children sounds. So this is the book I read with the children. And then the title of the book says Hobolokela Kamoso, which means saving for tomorrow or saving for the future. The children enjoyed this book a lot, especially when I acted it out. So they were like, wow, it was, it was really amazing. In this book, there are words, the repeated words, and then they themselves are the ones that came up with those repeated words. So they gave me the first word and the second word. From these words, we came up with the phonics, t and t. And then they gave their examples, their own examples, not from the book, but the ones that they know themselves. At the end of the day, Valerie asked Maseko how her lesson went. How did it go? I think everything went well. Uh huh. At least my kids, well, they behaved well today. Did they enjoy the lesson? Yes, they enjoyed it. Why do you say that? Because they managed to read, mm -hmm. and they also managed to learn new words. They were able to pronounce those words, and they were 
able to remember the meaning of those new words. Then how did you manage the learners who were not with, with the group that you were using? Those learners, I gave them phonic activities to do it, but the activities were not the same. Each group had its own activity, but was the same phonic. So at least they were not troublesome? No, they were not troublesome. Okay. They were all busy. What did they learn from the whole thing that you did? They learned the phonics mm -hmm. and they were, they also learned how to use the exclamation mark while you are reading. Mm -hmm. And they also learned how do you read a question? In, while reading. In a sentence where there is a question, mm -hmm. how do you pose a question while reading? What can you do to improve where there was <clears throat> no, like a lack of something? Okay, I have realized that if I would have enlarged the book to see all the illustrations well, maybe they will improve in their reading. So next time I will make sure that I enlarge the pictures in the book so that my learners can be more interested. Did the learners manage to put the new words on the wall? Yes, they managed because we are doing that most of the time when we are doing reading lessons in the classroom. If there are new words, I give them those new words to put it on the word wall. So it was much easier for them to do that because it's something that we normally do in the class. And the fact that they were participating, I think they really enjoyed that. <laughs>